Okay, but we need to talk about what happened to Aaron Burr post-duel. President Thomas Jefferson, now forever a fluffy-haired snappy dresser in my mind, thank you, Hamilton, sit down, buys this massive piece of land from France because Napoleon's decided, fuck that, we don't need it anymore because his empire failed. Not the point, it's the Louisiana Purchase. Hey, I was born somewhere in that third of the United States. 1804. He meets this one guy, Anthony Mary. Nerd's a British minister, <clears throat> liaison, with a good old two-thirds of the U.S., and then this other guy, James Wilkinson. Dude is a senior general and then governor of this chunk because Burr is friends with Jeff and also VP. He starts getting them in on this new scheme he's plotted. Hey, Mary, the British can have some power over here if you help me out. Hey, Wilkinson, I'll make you fucking governor so you can have a chunk and then I'll be the goddamn emperor of Texas. He tells everyone he's going to go claim some land out west because the Spanish crown decided, hey, this guy's okay, let's lease him some of Texas. But he's actually scheming, and Mary drops out at this point because Britain asked him to come back home, and also he didn't help Burr out, and he'll shoot you, man, trust me. He gets some more people to help. A senator named Jonathan Dayton to co-scheme, the fantastically named Harmon Blennerhassett to give him money and volunteers, and also a I shit you not... Island for his base. Latino volunteers and the actual Catholic Bishop of New Orleans join up too, because they want Mexico back. At this point, info about this whole ordeal is being printed in Union newspapers, and no one gives a shit. Not even Jefferson. 1806. He gets the Spanish minister, <laughs> liaison, Don Carlos Martinez de Rujo y Tacón on his side by saying, Hey, I'm not only gonna rule Texas for all eternity, I'm gonna destroy Washington, D.C. Then Cardo says, okay, cool, and gives Burr a very small loan of a few thousand dollars. At the same time, this lawyer guy, Joseph Hamilton Davis, because those Hamilton sure love cause and shit for Burr in Kentucky, tries to sue him because, hello, he's trying to rise up and throw down. It's dismissed, though he tries to tip off Jefferson, and Jefferson says, oh, it's because we're Democratic Republicans, shoo, and Burr goes back to plotting. He gathers this troop and starts heading out to explore. The governor of Ohio is scared and orders a raid of a super villain island base, and basically only a fraction makes it to New Orleans. Wilkinson says, lol, I'm out, bye, even though he totally promised to help in New Orleans, and tips off Jefferson to what's really going down, who finally takes it seriously. There's a bounty placed, and Burr is finally caught in Louisiana, but escapes. And is caught again and taken to trial. It's a hugely controversial case because individual rights and states' rights and it's acquitted because what does treason really mean anyway? And, oh, you can't prove it, so... It's really half OJ and half Good Humor versus Popsicle, which you should totally check out because it's ridiculous. But he's never going to be a politician again, so Burgos in exile in Europe, tries to get support in England, but is kicked out. France won't help him out to get back. And he's way too poor to go back himself, but he eventually manages it. He changes his name and goes back to law, marries Eliza Jumel, so many parallels, who leaves him after four months, and he dies to a stroke in massive debt on the same day his divorce was finalized in 1836. Walking disaster, Aaron Burr is right. <laughs>